Hi there everybody, this is Mr. Lewis to help you walk through your math skills challenge on this very first day of distance learning. So let's dive into this. The goal of the math skills challenge is really twofold. First and foremost, we want you to assess your current geographical knowledge. So at this moment, how good are you at looking at maps with no labels on them and being able to identify which countries are which? It's very important to be able to do in this class. Uh, one, because we don't actually practice it a lot. We have too much other content to, to get through. And this is sort of something you're expected to know a little bit coming into this course. But two, because on questions that you may be asked in, in, uh, on a test or on the AP exam, you're, you're going to be given something like this. Um, not all the time, but, but sometimes. And we want you to be ready for it. Let's say you're given a map of Africa. And one of the countries is just labeled country A. No actual title of the country. And then you're asked a question that says, provide one specific reason that country A has been experiencing a large amount of emigration. Emigration is the opposite of immigration. It means that people are leaving the country. Well, if you don't know what country A is, it'd be really hard to explain why people are leaving it. That's why geographical knowledge is so important in this course. Now, here's how we'd like you to actually walk through this challenge. Okay, it's a little bit of a competition. We're, we're uh, uh, trying to see not only who can name all the countries in different parts of the world, but also who can do it the fastest. And, and this is uh, the second part of this, this activity, the, the second main goal of this activity. It's not just to assess your current geographical knowledge, but also to provide you with a resource, a tool that will help you improve your geographical knowledge. And that tool is Satera.com. It's a great website. It's fantastic both uh, on smartphones or on your computer. Um, it's, it's very fluid on, on, on all kinds of devices. So highly recommend using this. Uh, so, so for each continent, okay, we have pasted a different thread. We've written a different question here on this discussion board for each continent that you can challenge yourself with on Satera. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, and then Oceania, which is Australia and the, the countries around Australia. The only continent missing here is Antarctica because that would be a little easy to do. Um, so for each one, let's just start with North America. These are the steps you'll take. North America, I'm going to click on this link. It's going to take me directly to not just the Satara website, but also the, uh, the quiz for that particular area of the world. In this case, North and Central America. As soon as it pops up, you're going to notice the ticker starts going. All right, the timer is already counting. I'm at 16 seconds, wasting time. And then it says click on the United States. So you may not start with something as easy as the United States. It could be uh, 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 any country in this area of the world. But as soon as you click on that country, notice as I hover over all these countries, I can uh, see that the, the color changes slightly. When I click on the correct nation the, on the very first try, it's going to fill in its borders with a white color. It goes from green to white. If I were to incorrectly click on a country, Okay, Belize is down here in Central America. Let's say I accidentally click on Mexico. It's going to make a little noise. It's going to flash Mexico. And then I'm back to where I started. Okay, now let's say I correctly click on Belize. It's this tiny little country right here. It fills it in yellow. So it's telling me you got it, but it took you a, a couple tries. Okay, now Costa Rica. Costa Rica is down here. Let's say I accidentally click on Panama and then Cuba, and then Jamaica, after the third incorrect try, they're just going to tell you where it is. And I have to click on it to, to, to move on and get a new country, El Salvador, but it fills it in red. So every country, by the time you're done with this continent, is either going to have a white color, a yellow color, or a red color to tell you, here are your strengths, here are your weaknesses. When you are able to get 100% on this entire map, like this, whoop, not that one, 
like this. There we go. All right, you're going to take a screenshot of your achievement. This is what we want to see, just this area right here. You can take a screenshot of the entire page as well, but we are really interested in just the percentage, which if you're taking a screenshot should be 100%, and the time that you were able to do it in. And we'd like you to challenge each other and see if you can improve on one another's times. But even if you get 100%, Post your work. That's awesome. You 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 did it. Uh, even if it's not the best time, go ahead and, and uh, uh, show us your achievement in the discussion board. So once I'm able to do that, I'm going to take my screenshot of my achievement. I'm going to go back to the discussion board. Okay, once you do that, it says, can you correctly place 100% of the countries in North America? I'm just going to double check that I have the right continent, and I'm going to reply to this thread. Once you do that, you've got a text box here. Now, I'm, I really don't need to write anything in here. You've already got your name listed from your Buzz account. I just want to see the actual image. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go into my images, find my screenshot, I'm going to copy it, go back into Buzz, and I'm just going to paste it into that area. I don't need to write anything. I just want to show my teacher and my classmates, hey, I got 100% on this region. Here's the time I did it in. And that's it. No comments are necessary underneath. Um, we just want to see how great you are and, and uh, how, how much you're improving your geographical knowledge. And you can push one another on time and try to post the fastest time as well. That's It's always fun to be a little competitive in that regard. Just uh, uh, we don't need any any comments because we're not trying to disparage one another. It's just uh, good old-fashioned competition and a little bit of fun. So once you're able to do that, click post. And you should be good to go. It's going to go ahead and, and take its uh, sweet time posting here, and that's just fine. But uh, once it goes through and you are able to see your post in the right spot, move on to the next continent. Go to South America, click here. It's gonna jump open for you. And I'm gonna start practicing South America and move your way all the way around the world until you start to feel pretty comfortable with uh, all those different regions. So that's it, you guys. Have fun with this. Um, challenge yourself a little bit, challenge others, and show us all the great work you can do. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out, reach out to your teacher and uh, we'll clarify any specifics and, and answer any questions that you might have. All right, that's it. Thanks. We'll see you later.